My name is uh, Alina Resnick and I'm a practicing glaucoma specialist at Southern California Eye Institute. I treat patients with different kinds of glaucoma and different stages of severity of glaucoma. At Southern California Eye Institute, we have all FDA approved minimally invasive glaucoma devices available in this country. To start, we do have eye stand and eye stand inject available. Those are micro bypass stands that allow the flow of fluid from the inside of the eye to the lymphatic drainage channels of the eye. The surgery is performed together with cataract surgery. Another options are Kahook dual blade and Hydra's uh, stent as well. Every patient is different based on the severity of the disease, based on what kind of glaucoma the patient has, we can give the options that are suitable for that particular patient. Part of our evaluation is screening patients for glaucoma. We're trying to figure out how can we diagnose patients earlier than before? How can we treat our patients prophylactically? How can we avoid surgery down the line in the same time preserving vision? With artificial intelligence, we do have available imaging devices here that can pick up glaucoma earlier than before. For that, patient needs a full evaluation and needs to see one of our glaucoma specialists. The field of medicine is rapidly evolving. It has been exciting to be a glaucoma specialist. There are quite a few new devices that have been approved in the United States, and there are quite a few new devices on the horizon that will be approved shortly. My hope that in the coming few years, every kind of glaucoma, every stage of glaucoma can be treated with minimally invasive glaucoma devices, achieving optimal results with the least amount of side effects. It is exciting to know that in the upcoming few months, we will have a sustained release medication devices available for our glaucoma patients. Those devices will be implanted in the operating room by a surgeon and will allow release of the glaucoma medication continuously without the patient actually taking the actual eye drops.